Hey. There's people live. Welcome everyone to the 122nd live stream. You know what that oh, means? Yeah. We've done this 122 times. That's how basic math works. It counts <laughs> up one bone. Anyway, uh, today we have Ellie Claw. Hi. And Fluffy's Eye. Hello. And a few mute members like Q Pencil Case. The pure fluffer. Just, just yeah. imagine a, a squeaky sound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fluffy mouse. Fluffy mouse. And of course, the <laughs> awesome living dad. Uh, he's he's dead somewhere, in a ditch. You could say, you know, for the Europeans, this might be the night of the living dead. Ah. <laughs> 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 all right so same just as always what the heck is up in the top what is going on there's text in my top corner oh. text in the top yes i would like to remove that text element what what are you doing uh it just had ali claw's full social insurance number and her address and <laughs> things <laughs> Her mother's made yeah it was just all up there no we can't have we can't have false alley identities going around <laughs> there's, uh, there's only one is that like you know identity set uh, identity theft but with ponies yes mm -hmm. so someone's gonna steal my oc <laughs> <laughs> all you need is a rush sheet to do that <laughs> my oc don't steal all right, so uh, <laughs> the same deal as always. Submit your art to us if you want critiques, uh, especially if you don't see it here and you've done up some pictures of small horses that you're wondering about. Um, otherwise, we'll, we just got two pictures and we're going to finish it in like five minutes flat. Oh, wait, we have an extremely artful piece down here at <laughs> the bottom that was just created a second ago by the illustrious <laughs> Ali Claw. It's, it's right? going to be Work gone before we can critique it, though. Oh no. That's the beauty but, of but art. But look at the know? juxtaposition between the, the short curls and the big swooshy <laughs> lines that are all elegant and smooth. I like to call this piece longing for fluff. Longing. <laughs> it makes you think of a cloud you could sleep on. <laughs> Alright, so let's let's go over Fluffy's eyes first because the game works by the person who's here first. Yay. Five. Successfully cheating. <laughs> uh, we really can't do much critique on three lines in a circle. Generally, you should be submitting pictures that you actually have questions about. So you're like, hey, I did this thing. I have questions. Please answer me questions. Yes. Can't help with what doesn't exist. Who made three lines in a circle? It's uh, the Picardo chat. I'm trying to get there. My internet was closed Check. so that oh. I wouldn't have the lag. No, Wait, I've done myself in. You have four legs. Wait, you aren't yes. a centaur? <laughs> I did draw myself as a centaur once. <laughs> draw, I, I, drew, I drew myself as a centaur drawing my raccoon OC into existence. It's quite a meta piece. Very, very <laughs> much so. <laughs> I was, I was like, 18, 17, So <laughs> your raccoon should have been drawing the <laughs> on the picture. You should have been drawing the centaur too. <laughs> I, I don't know why. He was, but... he was too confused at the fact that he was being drawn into life. <laughs> I don't know why, but when you said 1817, I thought it was the year, not like... No. <laughs> I, I was trying to remember, like, the ages you go to college for. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the, the Picato chat didn't load retroactively for me. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm just on my channel. I don't know. That might explain it. So, uh, let's let's go over your horse-human figure. Yeah. What questions you can't do you decide have? which one to draw. Um, the front legs, I don't know. I, I I don't know how to describe what I was going for. Just like the sort of leaned back a bit. Like the legs are kind of pressed in front of them, um, carrying their weight. But they, they're just sort of like leaning back in surprise, having apparently just received these new horse legs. Lean back. Lean back. 
Um, I think rearing up would be make more sense. Yeah. Like right... I, I I have done that before, but I think that's kind of overdone a lot. I just wanted to do a little bit more of a standing position. Hmm. Just to try something new. I didn't want to super shock like, oh my god, but just more like uh, just like confused. So it's something a bit more sort of down to earth, both metaphorically and literally. Hmm. Made more sense. Maybe spread out wider then, like whoa, sort of thing. Yeah, you you aren't trying to. Yeah, I was kind. I was kind of. Yeah, I was kind of trying. You can see I was, I sort of did the space. At least the front like spaced out a little bit. So that's sort of what I was trying, but I didn't really know how to make it work. Like I, I kept messing with the. As you can see from the frontmost leg being kind of broken I, I did a lot of like shifting the perspective over and over again like I couldn't seem to get it to sit right and I know it's a little bit too far upwards like the the box plane doesn't really sit right where's my tablet hmm. yeah I got nothing um, you don't want to change your legs to be a different expression. There's no expression on the face, so right now the picture doesn't reflect what you're show what you're saying it should. But you want to go that way anyway. That's fine. Um, I think you have to draw in the rest of the expression then. Yeah, I mean the ex the expression will help a lot with with that. But um, I'm just sort of trying to fix the legs to make them actually work anatomically at the moment. <laughs> Once this was just a doodle I did in the evening for a few hours because I was bored. It wasn't like a big important thing. I haven't worked on it since, but I just thought I would ask for your help. Where is my tablet? I uh, don't. I'm confused. It's been abducted. It, it has, apparently. I apologize for all my scribbles. The scribbles are great, though. I'm just trying to work work out some some things and feelings. It's a very emotional process. No, I'm just fussing with my tablet. <laughs> collab! CPC, it's our first collab! <laughs> Is he drawing pants on the center? <laughs> oh, there we go. I see. <laughs> It's adorable. We should we should sell it as an adoptable. <laughs> Wait, it it needs like an evolved form. Oh. Uh, nope, tablet is still not responding. Oh wait, nope. I would crack the back leg. I, I have nothing to say about the front leg because you you said you don't really want to change how they're sitting. They. They're, they're well, it's not that I don't want to change the pose. I just want to sort of I, I I I'll still change like the way they're positioned and like the anatomy and shape and everything. I just don't want to change the pose drastically, you know. Yeah, uh, anatomy is not going to help with the expression because your your anatomy. Well, it's not the expression. Right it's not the expression that is the issue. Oh, well, that's why. Sorry, that's why you're saying earlier was the expression. It wasn't making sense for the expression. Oh, uh, no, I I meant more just, um, that's what I was doing, and just like the legs, I felt especially this. No, I still can't freaking move my tablet. Nor do I have a pen. This leg, is is kind of an issue. I don't know why. I, I feel like it needs to be further down, but then that looked weird and stretched, and I don't know. I can't really figure it out. If you move it further down, move that, the back leg slightly further down too. And then it won't look as stretched in weirdness. Um, hmm. Yeah. I think it's that front. This right here. Whatever's going on with this line right there. This thing. Oh yeah, that's just where it got broken from the um, the shifting the perspective and stuff, I think. Because uh, I'd sort of, I'd drawn it differently. I think that was just where it got twisted. Okay. Beyond that, I, th well. I don't see much of an issue. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Just 
Senti, senti, senti. <laughs> Beam song now. It might be worth just trying something completely different. Or trying a few different Maybe. poses. See what you come up with. Could work. I mean, even just to just to try and draw in the legs in different ways. Mm -hmm. No. Mm. Something something practice makes perfect. I don't know. Yeah, that <laughs> that's an uh, interesting pose right there. Whoever whoever drew that wasn't me. It was CPC. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> How to say in the shower. <laughs> no no shaggy. I was waiting for the flag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the next one then. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, to... oh my gosh, what is going on? You know what? Uh you now have an OC. That, that's what it was missing. <laughs> Needs a bow. Zomzom, you gotta add to the collab. It's a teamwork effort. I can I can do that. Uh, this is you know this is demonstrating how to work together in art. This is an important part of art, you know. Truly. I had to rejoin the session. I'm sorry. My tablet was being silly. Hello, everyone recently joining. Yay. Hello. Welcome to the silliness. We are the silly critiques. We are the silly friends. Always... And then my heart got ripped out. <laughs> what? And <I'm> hard for <laughs> <life>. <laughs> That doesn't sound very silly. That's Steven Universe! Thank you so much. <laughs> I just caught up like yesterday. <laughs> just waiting for Die Lady's picture. Oh, yeah. yay. Alright, whatever. We'll go up. We'll go up. We'll go, we'll go. This, this picture right here. This is by Pony76. So Pony76, first off, you're awesome. You're awesome. You're so awesome. Yes. You've critiqued like four things before posting. Yes. Awesome. You. you Star win, people. You win golden stars and stuff. And like... Oh my god, can we hand out like golden stickers to like people? That is what love? we do here on the street. We, <laughs> we believe in golden stickers. Eh. Golden Star stickers. They're the best recognition for hard work. Yeah. Although wouldn't it be fluffy? fluffy well yes, sticker. they can be they can be they can be textured fluffy golden oh, star stickers. Fluffy stickers. Yes. Uh oh. There we go. Yeah, oh yo, you're in. totally right. I do need to add the the flare. Golden here, let me see if I can do that through here. Uh, no. I need to hear though. They get a golden star. Okay, so let's talk about their picture while I get this thing set up. Sounds good. So I gotta applaud you for doing interacting ponies, because I know people always shy away from that, because, it, let's face it, it's hard to get a really, like, cohesive interaction, because it's, like, something we're not used to. We gotta, we gotta make them be 3D without them being 3D. Yeah. So, applauding on doing that and you got like you got some things i really like like overlapping like the good fluff is cpc cpc loves that good fluff but things you've done like with the overlapping of the fluff that's a really great touch um and just other places where they overlap too those are nice things to always remember like these are good things you're doing now um i think the big thing here is anatomy the anatomy feels kind of all over the place i'm not quite sure i i wish you were here because i'd ask if there was much under sketching going on or if this is the under sketch or because that usually tells a lot mm. about you know art. yeah because yeah yeah i definitely agree if, if there wasn't any then definitely that is something that could help a lot to help mm -hmm. balance things out a bit 
there's so many little things that we could be here for like an hour just like detailing every single tiny thing um I don't know sort of how much you've done in the way of, of sort of research and reference of our art. I mean, it's a difficult pose. I would struggle with this pose a lot. Um, I think you've done your best shot, and that's commendable. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. This is, this is hard. Interacting ponies is hard, but the more you do it, the better it's going to get. So, seriously, keep it up. Oops. Hmm. I'm just gonna work. Yeah, we'll <laughs> send you a postcard. Wish you were here. <laughs> we need to make we need to make MLPDS critique stream postcards. <laughs> what will we even give them? Um, one free invisible hug. We'll give them critique. <laughs> This mouth is a complicated mouth. Oh, there we go. That's that's how it would work. Oh, they are here. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, is it the karma person in the voice chat? Or the, yeah, the voice chat text, text channel. Blah, blah, blah. In Discord. Discord. But what? Oh, they said they're here. <laughs> what are we being flagged for? Props, Dino. Props. <laughs> that was impressive. <laughs> I didn't even hear a song. I was. I, I wasn't paying I, attention. <laughs> I sang literally one word and one key from a pony song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> but now be flagged again. Hmm. But um, awesome, they're here. So I guess I'll lay out some questions and hopefully they can hear us through the YouTube, or the, not the YouTube, the Picarto. So I guess my major question, the first one is, did you have much under sketching with this? Um, another question is, is this a, maybe a smaller pony like a filly with a larger pony hugging? And are they doing some sort of hopping action? Because I'm not quite sure what the scoring on the bottom is. If they're just like, Hugging each yeah. other, or they're like pouncing for like a pounce hug. Yeah, because you've got these two different directions going here, mm -hmm. and it's sort of like what's what's going on there. Because I would minimalize it if this is like the legs springing up around them or something, then that kind of doesn't really need to be shown, because um, that's kind of to be implied by the position. But I'll let you finish typing, and you can tell me what that is. Yeah. And then there's like this. Not really sure what. What sort of position that that's happening? <coughs> Poor Zom Zom dying for the second time. It's, it's good. It's good. Just, oh, <laughs> oh, God. oh no! Quick, what video game health health items do we have? Obscure oh no! We're gonna items. have the annoying beeping of like low health. Boop 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 boop. <laughs> Alright, so I have good news for you. An under sketch can absolutely be messy. It it is your it's your point in time to be messy and figure things out. Don't ever be afraid to be messy. Like if if you can see CPC drawing down there, she has scribbles going left and right, circles going here and there. That is good like you know good things to do in under sketching let yourself be messy let yourself figure that stuff out there is no need to be clean not at all not one bit is is good to be missed messy messy hmm. yeah that's definitely accurate because it it is it, a lot of the time you sort of choke yourself back a little bit by trying to 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 by worrying about that stuff you can kind of sort of uh, limit the freedom you give yourself hug tackle <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, so what I I want to say about the 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 sort of cartoony things. I mean, this one, this is fine. Check, because it's like, oh, they're going this way, and you can clearly sort of see that these these hash things don't really give you much idea of direction. You sort of imply that uh, by what else is going on. So with this one, I implied it's the leg going this way, uh, whereas this one up here, this little one, I'm not really sure. It kind of. It's bending in this way, but also going like this. I'm not really sure what that, what's going on there. Um, 
there's too much going on with these. Maybe keep this one so it's like, hey, it's like you can make it a bit uneven. So it's like, yeah, cool. They they're shooting they're shooting this way. You get that that idea. But then the leg doesn't really need it. At most, you could do like this. That shows like a little bit of of movement there. Um, or actually, I think it's meant to be on the other side because I think it's sort of like the 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 trail left by the outline. Uh, but having having more of them kind of doesn't really show what's going on. It just kind of sort of confuses direction. So you want to just keep it minimal. And something else we can do to oh, oh there it is. Sorry, my pen was like momentarily not penning. It was confused. It was so <laughs> confused. We can also infer the action without having like um, indicator lines and such. It is a very valid and great method to do. Um, but there's other things we can do. Like if I draw this from the side, say we got like, okay, there's the big pony's head and maybe they get like thudded. Like this is my action line. It's very sharp because pony is going right in being big tackle hug. So you can make that super exaggerated and in a sketch, it's okay to be messy and super exaggerated to get yeah. that movement, you know? Their legs and their dead legs go there and the pony's like, oh, oh my goodness, there is a cute little pony hugging me. <laughs> Whoa. And so, like, that's something that could be inferred. And while maybe you'll have to scooch around the anatomy a bit, in cartoons, it's okay to display emotion over anatomy sometimes. Yeah. That's we, we, it's something we talked about before, but it's uh, it's always better to to make those the implications of what you're trying to actually put forward, the expression and the emotion, than it is to just be completely accurate. I mean, it doesn't mean that you should always be like, oh, this. I mean, you, you shouldn't be like, oh, this leg is broken, so like I'm just gonna leave it. Um, mm -hmm. It's it should it, never be an excuse. Yeah. yeah, yeah, basically. But at the same time, if you know, focus more. What we're saying is focus more on that on the expression, because that's what you're trying to do. Um, and uh, for trying to figure out the specific anatomy with the body, because I, 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 I mean, you've clearly done a good job of trying to get these interacting ponies together. You've got a lot of weight and warmth in here. Like the way they mesh together is very natural. It it feels weighty and solid, and that's good. Um, but I think for for, for uh, there is a lot to improve on. And uh, like Ali said, a lot of the anatomy kind of doesn't know where it's going. I would say, for one thing to focus on for now, drawing for this little pony, uh, if you were to fo to to cut away what's there and focus instead on the on just this pony. And what you should do with that is draw what, even what you can't see. And it's something we talk about a lot. And it's basically like just because something's covered up doesn't mean that it needs to be ignored. Uh, and if you and a lot of times this is why drawing interacting ponies is so difficult. A lot of the time, it's because when body parts cr get uh, crossed out by other characters and stuff it can be really hard to make that anatomy work so just ignore the the big pony going on and say okay i'm drawing this 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 little pony here this little this little bean uh and then it's like so okay i'm, I'm getting trying to get the body in so i can figure out where this goes and you're not thinking about how how the the overall picture is going you're just thinking about this one character you know like, okay so the other legs going around there somewhere cool um and that way, you're focusing entirely on uh, on getting this character right, and you're not being inhibited by, oh, uh, the leg is coming out from here. That's where it's supposed to be. So cool. You're just focusing on getting it right, and then you can go, okay. So now I've got this character drawn. All this doesn't. This is all hidden. So there we go. There we go. Cool. And so then, then you can rub out what you don't need. And you've got everything there, but it can be a lot, a lot easier to try and figure out the anatomy, and everything becomes a lot more focused and specific. It doesn't mean that you should draw the characters completely separately. Uh, it's just a matter of trying to cut things away so you give yourself the room to focus without all this mess going on. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. And actually, in their sketch in the Discord, they actually did draw the body parts like underneath and all that. Ooh, nice. See, yeah, so. that's exactly right. It's just sort of working on because this 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 pony's body was very flat. It didn't look quite uh, like the squishy, soft bean pony bodies that we we know. And love. Um, yes, <laughs> we know and love. So it sounds like you're sort of on the right track with everything, and you're doing everything right. But it just uh, it just needs a bit more focus on. Uh, on, on getting the the pony shape so just look at your references go take an excuse to go browsing art and derpy borrow and whatever and just <laughs> looking at all the cute pony pictures to get ideas for how the body feels also cpc that hugging is way Painfully too cute, cute. <laughs> All right. Do you have any other questions there, Karma? Yeah, so type it to type in. Definitely more practice. It's the best way to get better <laughs> at something. Do it more often. Exactly. Yeah. Practice and reference. Don't be afraid to make mm. a bunch of messy sketches. Yeah. No way, no how is anyone expecting you to have a perfect clean sketch. Right, it's hard to let go. It is. It's oh, really and and to. and the the round heads thing is is it can be a tricky thing. Um, I mean, it's easy. It's it's it can be hard to get out of at first, but it's because it's like oh, so I have the head. How do I stop it from being round? I can't just do this. Yeah, sometimes trying to shove it on doesn't always work. Oh, I can't make my thing any bigger. Yeah, um, but it's it's about sort of twisting the shapes with subtleties. It definitely works better if you got the give yourself room to 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 work with. But say I'm I'm doing a third quarter pony, just just be a quick thing. Is a is a pony head okay? And then uh, so I always start with the nose, and then I go into the eyes, and then from the eyes, I'll have the side of the head, and that comes down, and then then sort of just twists into a soft little cheek. And it goes back under the under the nose, and I'll do the ears. So that here's here's the here's the back ear, and then the back of the head will twist, will come out from that, and go in like that. So I don't have an exact circle going on, but it it really does help to mm -hmm. to to get get the shape because the circles that just there as a guide now, but you still have a nice round pony head without it just being an obvious circle. Yeah, and you know if you find yourself like if you can see your and image and be like left. this. Yeah, appropriate, of course. If you um, if you're looking at your own image and you're like, "Hey, my head's too circular," you can carve away at it. Like, you don't have to, you know, accept it as a circle. A lot of art is correcting yourself as you go forward with the piece. Sketching is all about correcting yourself as you go along. So yeah, just I mean, let this, yourself correct. Yeah, because the sketching phase is about figuring it out. Ultimately. Mm -hmm. And I go, okay, here's the hair. I don't know which character I'm drawing. Let's just, let's just make it derpy without the cost eyes, whatever. And, and if there's room, yay, another ear. <laughs> All right. Anyone else have any art they'd like to... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Asked and answered. That's a lot of snack eating going on. It wasn't me. Hey, I have a question for you, Die Lady. What is supposed to be going on in this picture? Oh, wait, didn't we see something like this before? Or is this a different picture I'm thinking of? I have no clue. I, I think I'm thinking of something else, actually, don't I? Good to hear it, Karma. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Seriously though, good job. I mean, yes. when I said like really great attempting ponies interacting. Yeah, yeah, it's really good to be to have that like ambition in there. I mean, I I need to steal that from you. So, <laughs> good job and keep it up. All right. Well, so they're they're sleeping. They feel they look they look like they're quite angry. 
They look they look very stressed for a sleeping position, I think, because of this. I need a different color. This won't do. Butt raised up, the the scrunched face. Yeah, like this right here. It's a very yeah. I mean, the if if you had like a pillow under them, then maybe, but that's a lot of stress on the body to to keep themselves in that position. Even if yeah. they're like, say, a violent snorer, it, a lot of it's in the eyes. Like the eyes look angry to me, and that's what's throwing yeah. the whole thing off. Although I, I would like to contend, Fluffy. Uh, apparently, when I was a baby, I used to sleep with my butt up in the air. Like I'd be hunched up, butt up in the air, and I'd sleep for. I hours mean, I, I mean, I like, I like laying like that now, but <laughs> it's, I don't know, it, it. I, I think I was just sort of mean in a in a sense going for a bit more of a relaxed position might work, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe that works, but it feels like there's something that's lacking that's making it look awkward. I don't know why, but for some reason it just feels unnatural. Um, oh, it's meant to be in this particular. <laughs> I would love to know what an angry snort is. Yeah, what, what does that mean? Uh, go look at a picture of a cat sleeping. Uh, just imagine the <laughs> bottle of rage it is. <laughs> Angry sleeping. I'm finding a picture of it. See what comes up. Mm, nope, that's very... Ah, mm, that's a cat. That's just yeah, so I, th I, I think what Cubensa case is drawing is kind of what I was thinking about. Um, th I think that that's a much more natural pose to be like plonked out with with the button here, mm -hmm. is to just really have themselves shot forward. I think in this position, having the arms forward uh, puts a little bit more strain on them, uh, and I think it's it's just going to hurt the spine a little bit because they're trying to scrunch themselves up, but then keep their arms forward the front legs forward and plus yeah having the face on the ground would be a lot i mean i don't know anyone who sleeps with their head up um. still haven't found a good picture of angry sleeping That's not a cat. <laughs> Loving these stock pictures that come up, though. They're pretty hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> what are we even doing? I, I'm glad CPC sketch helped. I mean, I, I was trying to think think of what. I was sort of um, doing some scribbles, but I was trying to think, and then CPC drew it. I'm like, ah, oh, that's what I was trying to do. Something really helpful I find when doing side poses like this is really determining where the flat of the ground is. Like, I see you have scribbles here, but it feels like you're trying to be more 3D-ish. But to get the effect CPC has, just give yourself one really strong line and say anything that touches that line hits a hard surface. So, like, yeah. you can get that, you know, straight fall-down flop curve going on instead of having legs. Like, it'll look weird if legs, you know, suddenly poke up when they're, like, floating off the ground or just having that solid line to work with and pretending it's literally, like, a brick wall or a concrete floor. Nothing can go past the line. And if, you know, you see something floating above the line that should be, you know, making contact because they're sleeping or, like, you know, something is leaning or... Just like think about it in Hard like, a flat. logical way, yeah. I mean, th this isn't an actual shape of anything I'm drawing, it's not a pony drowning in the thing, it's just like random shape, like hills. But it's like, what if this random blobby shape, but it's just like a, a doughy material just splattered on the ground? So you just, mm -hmm. and this really, this is just what I'm doing right now, I think would be a good idea just as an exercise, just to, to, to be like, this is how I'm gonna just do this flat cut off like the, just drawing random shakes just splattered on the ground because then mm -hmm. it gives you an idea of like this is the hard surface that's being squished onto 
And you can even be silly and pretend you're the pony and flop yourself on the ground and see what parts touch the, the, the ground more and see what parts are, you know. Mm. Be the pony. Be your own model. <laughs> Go flop on the bed. <laughs> and then get up an hour later and be like, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise naps will get us all. We're not actually... Yeah, you know... Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh. I was just responding to Star Trek. Year ago. Oh no, respond to them. Uh, we we aren't drawing anything. This is, we do critique here. I, I mean, we're drawing, but the subject isn't ours. Mm-hmm. Mostly red lines that are multiple multicolors because multicolor ponies. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're the critique stream. We help people figure figure pictures out. I don't know if they're even listening or they just like are responding purely to CPC's comment. <laughs> but we can only assume they're listening and hope. <laughs> but yeah, the one thing, um, like like uh, Delevy says, like a lot of people forget that visualizing in 2D can really help you push your 3D environment. Like if something's really hard to comprehend in 3D, sometimes draw a side view of it. See how it would interact with everything in sight. You know, it kind of gives you that feel, that niceness that you can actually interpret. Like, okay, this leg would be here. It's going to be bending like this. So how would it look like if I turned it? Like, it, it gives you that starting visualization point that you can then twist and turn in your head as best you can. Instead of just going for the um, shape it is as it is. Oh no, they already left. <laughs> so some of us were talking in the, in the, the chat and TPC was asking if Star Stripes has the sound on and apparently they already left. <laughs> oh, well pulled. Whoops. And they're back again. Back in black. Oh yeah, they're back. Cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Some you got and, cut. Anyway. Always. Listen. I will get our channels demonetized from all the but, zero monetization we've got. So see, far. what I I need to do is just get make just learn how to make music, and we can just sing that. We can just sing Flitzy's music. <laughs> <laughs> oh sure. Thing. He, he made that... peppermint ponies, right? Yes. Peppermint pony. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else have any questions? Any art they'd like critiqued? Any questions they have? I've already asked that one. Any alleys they <laughs> Oh, like there already make? are, you know. <laughs> I have a question. Why Do we like have to come up with two questions if we want to ask our questions? Is that the deal? Yes. Or... Okay. <laughs> oh, do you have any art? Or... Oh, wait, any I gotta ask a second question. Or... How's your day? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it How started nice of you. and it hasn't ended yet, so we'll see. <laughs> That's just life, like... <laughs> wow, that was deep. But does it ever really end? <laughs> You're just asleep, like, what? what is a day? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to the MLP Drawing School Life Philosophy Stream. <laughs> in, question this day in time. In 46 minutes, the, the day apparently ends, but I'm still awake. <laughs> it, 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 until I go to sleep, but then what does that mean? <laughs> you are having a time zone. <laughs> what if you're perpetually crossing across time zones? Can you, like, stay still in time? Oh my god, yeah. You're just you're moving at a steady pace around the Earth, and it's just always, like, the, the, the one time. <laughs> All right. Well, if there's no one else that has any questions for us and no other horses people would like to have critiqued, then I believe that's the end of us, at least for this yeah. week. We'll be back next week. Well, some of us. I will be oh. up in the frozen north of Hoth again, where I live. Um, we got to wait. <laughs> going to no. Hoth? Nope. Torson. You're going to meet one person, Tontons? Torson. We're here. We're oh, here waiting. for you. You did a po we're we're waiting for your poem. Right then, here. If you want to critique. We're right here. We're ready for you. Yay.
Be up at Park so, LDA, I, ex I expect while we're waiting for them, I expect pictures of, of you riding Tauntauns. Um, <laughs> that seems You're like... going Tauntaun riding? Well, Gonna go you find a Wumper? You, you just sort of cut <laughs> them. Oh, <laughs> no, that's gross. <laughs> at least it's warm. <laughs> I... L I don't want to give a spoiler for um, The Last Jedi, but it's not even like a thing. It was just a funny joke that I liked. It just subversion. So much in that movie was like making you th expect things and then making you expect more, but then subverting those, and it was really funny. I just liked it. It's just like, oh, there, and of course, icy planet, and then salt. And it's like, okay, I see what you did. <laughs> it's not snow. We get it. <laughs> You tricked us. Where is the pony? It's on the internet. Everywhere, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they've gone out of control. Oh, there it is. There is Torsen's stashed pick. Oh, that's cute. I haven't seen <laughs> much fan art of the new season. Hmm. Wait, because many of the episodes have been done. But... <laughs> oh, snap! Like, we, we, we did the critique of the last episode on, on our show, and just everyone hated it. <laughs> Didn't we already go over this one before? Like, the, the no, pic? not this picture, I mean the, the moral. Haven't we done um, that? Yes, we did. Running of the I'm... leaves. <laughs> All right. Do you have any questions for us? Uh, wanted ugh. so I wanted to ask how to color the in the lights. Color in the oh, like the for the flash from the camera. Yeah. Uh, what you got to do is add shadows. So that's, you got to go, I know it's the, ew, it's backwards, but uh, if you want to <laughs> illustrate uh, having a harsh light here, then what you need to do is have harsh shadows silhouetting everything else. So just, oh, this is in shadow, messy <laughs> sketching, forgive me. This is in shadow, and you just, you basically, I I'm, I'm, I don't really have the time to sit here and figure out the anatomy of her face and where the light sits, but, you know, uh, having harsh light you can really illustrate that by having harsh shadows uh because obviously the brighter the light source the more they cast um so you've got so you can see obviously you've got like the under parts here which do have some some shadowing going in uh but uh if you've got a, a bright light source coming from here then that assumingly is what is going to just dominate as the light source so that's what you should keep in mind for where the shadows fall and the fact that it's so bright it's going to be creating super thick shadows and that can sort of help to illustrate hey there's a bright flash of light there also spike is very small that's not what you asked but <laughs> small and oh. his arm is like stretched out super he's missing yeah. his his spikes all the way down his body i need to be a bee rubber arm I like how you did the little bubbles, though, to like for the dizzy eyes. Mm hmm. Fluttershy is very, very well done. Mm hmm. Those wings, perfect. Although, I would take this feather off here. The reason is because leaving that feather on makes it looks like her wing is attached to her shoulder when it wants to be mm -hmm. the shoulder blade, which is like mm -hmm. behind that curve of the back. Just nitpicking. Nitty picking. Other nitpick. Curve and neck. Curve. <laughs> <laughs> and um I guess another thing to consider, like when you want to figure out how to do a certain light source, one of the best things you can do is actually look up how that light source is in real life. So you could get like someone standing, like even if you can't get a flash, but 
maybe someone standing in front of, in front of a really bright light, like someone standing in front of like a halogen light or something. That will show you kind of the same thing as a really bright flash, except you'll get to see it like for longer periods and such. I always love putting out those references. References are friends. Reference, reference, reference. If you ever have a problem with any of the fundamentals, a reference will have that answer. Especially with anatomy. And lighting. And texture. Look at all these things. References. Star Stripe, feel free to submit a picture for critique. And I know you said Spike was an afterthought, but like, since Fluttershy has pictures, so should he. Or since Fluttershy has shadows, so should he. Mm hmm. Any other questions for us? Okie pokey Loki. Glad we could be somewhat helpful. Oh. Well, Star Stripes, I have good news. We do this every single week so far. Mm-hmm. I, and we have a subreddit, and we have a Discord. And you can find the yeah. links to both of those things in our description. If you hop on the Discord, we're there 24-7. The subreddit's a little slower, but uh, it's it's still active. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of good critiquers this week. Mm -hmm. It's good that it's still active. Also, I like CPC's fan art. <laughs> <laughs> the little toy in the background is so grumpy. <laughs> All right then, anyone else have any art they'd like critiqued? Any other questions they have to ask? Any other alleys they'd like to high five? Or Fluffy's eyes they'd like to give candy? I will high five for some candy. I will. I have alley that I would like to hug. I would hug. I would Yay. hug. I got a free upgrade. <laughs> Is that your your Huion you're talking about? No, no, I was talking or the, about the upgrade from hug to high five to hug. Yeah, it's the best one. <laughs> so you got wait, but your 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 Huion as well. You got two two upgrades. <laughs> oh, I have to say, literally, it's the first time using it for the stream, like at all. I just got it set up in time for the stream. Nice. It's so good. <laughs> it's like butter. I wish I oh. had your excitement. <laughs> it's like butter it just feels better uh, it just i don't know how to describe it it's just i'm happy how much did you get it for you said you got like a good deal on it yeah i basically got it for half the price and it's brand Ooh. new just didn't have a charging cable or like a power cord what nice. model what model was that one so i was looking at their store and making myself feel sad a little while ago <laughs> it's a huron gt 220 v2 ah, i think i remember looking at one it's uh, like yeah. the second highest it's not um, quite the highest model they have but it's oh yeah like, i was looking at that one i remember yeah it's it, it's like a yeah because it's like the v2 it's like they've changed it recently or something i think hey mm -hmm. huon you should give fluffy's eye a drawing tablet so he can <laughs> yeah art uh, we, all, we already tried to get their sponsorship <laughs> no, no no it's fine i'll just you know we're now like have a plethora of huon mm. tablets because I, I love my i love my my desk tablet my huon but it's i i've always wanted a pen display so bad oh my god because I, I can't really sit at my desk and I'm like, I want to have a pen display and it would be like drawing in a sketchbook like I used to, but like with all the applicability of digital art. <sighs> if I could give you my display, I would, Fluffy. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm just reading Kupens Case's uh, quoting of KT. Uh, that's, a, that's a weird way around for that one. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, so there we go. <laughs> Almost sponsored by Huyo on Strange says. <laughs> I love it. We'll get there one day. <laughs> Listen, all we need to do is make an active, like, MLPDS drawing school, yeah. Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram. We got to hit the major social media sites so we look really active everywhere, and then they'll love us. That makes sense. <laughs> we got to, like, just keep sort of just mentioning that we have good tablets, but just not quite advertising them properly. And then just, like, <laughs> be like, hashtag could be sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> After every critique, man, this critique sure was great on my Huon Twenty Two <laughs> GT V Seven. But 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 before they actually sponsor us, we're just gonna be like, this critique was 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 great drawing on my nameless tablet. <laughs> like this your critique... your product here. <laughs> <laughs> we are truly marketing wizards. We, we've also entered the silly part of the stream where we just don't know what we're doing anymore. <laughs> Alright then, we're going to call this call this a day because it's, it's a day every day. But this is the end of this yeah. show. Um, but what is a day, really? If you think about it. <laughs> oh no. Tarsen. Cut it off! <laughs> I, I highly suggest hopping onto the Discord, Discord voice chat chat channel and talk with KT. They're talking your picture right now. Yeah, KT is super helpful. She's a star. You know what that means, CPC? You have to make a pigeon OC. Oh my god. Cuckoo, <laughs> cuckoo. Speaking of pigeons, I'm going to go watch Holly Conrad play dice camera action soon. <laughs> this is amazing watching CPC talk for KT back. Yeah, I was seeing things appear well, in one channel. There's another conversation <laughs> happening in Discord <laughs> that's without the person. <laughs> it's like going between two different chats. I've done that, but I've had to be the medium, just like this person said blank, like copy and paste messages. They really like your exp expression. They, they were quite a fan. They say so in the Discord. Or in the <laughs> Picarto. <laughs> Alright, before this goes into true madness, uh, thank you all, <laughs> and see you again next week at 5... 5.30ish, or whenever the heck they want to do it. Go check the Reddit. Sometime it's a different time. I don't know. Yeah. They'll, they'll figure this stuff out. Yeah. So long. It'll be all good. Bye!